My name is Rachel Moramarco and I'm the director of this production of But Why Bump Off Barnaby at St. Elizabeth Academy. One of the biggest reasons I chose to do this show is because it's a farce. Um, last year at this school we did two rather heavy shows. We did Steel Magnolias and a musical, um, Once on this Island, again a very heavy show. And I want to do something lighter and fun and completely different off the wall and zany. Being an all-girls school, obviously we have no boys here. Um, so as a result, the, the tradition kind of in St. Louis with so many single-sex schools has been to cast boys from all-boys schools. I decided to come to St. Elizabeth to do shows because it sounded kind of fun and I had really nothing else to do. But now that I'm here, I have like a lot of friends and so I love coming back here now. I play Jeff Barnett. Jeff is a police reporter who has come to England to keep an eye on his fiance, and he ends up in a house that is full of crazy people. I've basically been doing theater my entire life. I guess one of my favorite things about theater in general is just I get to act like someone I'm not and kind of break away from reality, in a way. He said he passed out the way so he would never forget something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, and then borrowed. <laughs> <laughs> it's tedious getting in and out of the makeup and all of the facial hair that I have to put on, but I love watching the people's reaction when I come out. The rehearsal process, um, in general, is a lot of fun. It can also be a lot of aggravation. Usually it starts out being a lot of fun, and then about three weeks before the show, it turns into a lot of aggravation. What's Limerick? Right again, and please direct it to her, pause, let her kind of cross in front of you, and, and draw, draw her feet. <laughs> this time around, that was the most difficult thing. It's a very line heavy show and, and the lines are very important um, to get as accurate as possible especially in this show. So we, we def definitely did struggle with that and in fact um, here we are the, the night before opening and, and we're still struggling with some lines and that's, that's very scary. I am very lucky in that I have a number of very talented people who help me out. They are definitely a godsend. At the school I'm at, I have two very talented parents, Scott and Teresa Lobel, who are theater professionals. He's the head charge artist at the Rep, and she does costumes for a number of places around town. Both of them are very familiar with the theater world, and Scott Lobel painted this amazing set. Uh, he and my husband together built the entire thing. He's, like I said, a wonderful scenic artist. I'm very lucky. In the past, I've I've had just myself and my husband to do the set, and neither of us especially are scenic painters. I love painting. Technical director and scenic artist is the best job description for, for myself here. I, I can't imagine anybody not wanting to be a scenic artist. I think what is being done here is, is really remarkable because a lot of the other schools in the St. Louis area are building these brand new theaters, and this place is, is really antiquated and um, really under-equipped. And the things that we're able to do here, I am really, really enormously proud of being able to get some of the effects that we're getting here. Hopefully, tomorrow, opening night, will be a rewarding experience and the kiddos will want to come back and, and do another show and maybe inspire some of those that are out in the audience to come and be a part of, of theater here at SEA.